Put your hands together and welcome to the stage, Josh Earl! How are we doing? We good? High five, we good? It's very good to be here, it's very good. I just got back from Perth. I was over there doing, oh, someone's from Perth. I was over there doing some shows. I was there with my wife and we had a night off. And I thought, oh, let's go and watch the sunset on the beach, because we don't get the sun setting on the water over here in Melbourne. We don't get it, and so let's do it. And so we went there, had a picnic, it was romantic. We we're just sitting there watching the sun, it was beautiful, all these purples and oranges coming off it, and we were having romantic time, and the sun was just setting, and we kept on having a romantic time. And just as the sun hit the very tip of the water, I just ruined it by just going, rage, 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 rage! Run, 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 Great. Ruined it, ruined. <laughs> Glad you like that, because first impressions sometimes don't go great. I'm not great at the first impressions. I admit that. I don't like handshaking. I think it's stupid. Why are we still doing handshaking? It's 2015. What? We've got our words. Just use your words. I don't know why you're still doing it. I don't know. And so because this is a festival and it's arty and it's ABC, I, I've written a small play about the world's first handshake. So here we go. A small play about the world's first handshake. G'day. G'day. The name's Damo. Put it there. Put what? What are you doing with that? What do you want me to do with that? That's. What do you, what's that for? What do you want? Me to... Just grab it. What? Your hand? What do you want? Me... Yes, me hand. Just but... hold on to me hand. But I've never met you. I, I, exactly. What, what do you mean? Exa I've never met you before. You want to hold your hands? That's why I want you to grab onto me hand. What's all, you got something on your hands, all you want to hold, you got something Nothing's on there. Nothing's on it, just grab onto me hand before it gets weird. Bef it's already weird, you want me to hold your hand, I don't know you, I don't Why know. Why would I want you to grab me hand if something was on it? I don't know, I don't know who you are, I don't know why you want me to hold your hand, it's fine, I'll hold your hand, it's... Uh, oh, it's weird, That's oh, it's weird, it. oh, this is weird, oh. Firmer. Why firmer? What am I holding don't a firmer for? Don't be in me hand, just oh. give it a nice firm grip, oh, not too weird. hard. Oh. Just so I know you're not letting go. Oh, that's weird. Weird. Just shake it. What am I shaking it for? Just shake it. Oh! Not like that. Up and down, mate. What? Shake it up and down. Oh. Not side to side. You don't shake things up and down. Like, it's weird. Don't look at the hand either. Where are you meant to look at the hand? Look into me eyes. Your eyes? Why? It's weird. Yeah. It's... Oh, stop. Still going. Hang on oh. and release. Oh. And scene, thank you very much. <laughs> so, uh, I've got a, I'm going to do a song now, and this song is about Jesus. So, uh, lock the doors. Here we go. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Spare a thought for Jesus Christ being born on Christmas Day, because all these presents were combined, no matter what they say. And they all tried to tell him that they spent a little more But they only gave him frankincense, who knows what that is for And the other two wise men gave him gold and gave him myrrh But for so-called wise men they sure were a bit dirt. But I guess they thought he's a baby so the present didn't matter But even to the Son of God gold is a choking hazard and this combined present thing went on for his whole life And every time it happened he would go, Oh Jesus Christ! And his dad would say, Hey Jesus, don't speak in the third person But who cared what? Joseph thought he's to believe his wife to be a virgin <laughs> And when your birthday's Christmas Day, no one comes to your 21st Cos they're all at home with their family eating turkey till it hurts And even after Jesus caved enough wine for the whole town but the problem with Jesus wines, it's fairly watered down. And one thing with a Jesus party, he's always doing tricks. And you can't call in this and not coming in because you're feeling sick. Cause he'll just say, come anyway, and I'll cure you like the blind. But there's no chance of you getting blind on that watery wine. Now I know that is two watery wine jokes in a row, but I wrote the first one, was very impressed with myself. <laughs> Took the rest of the day off. Came back to the song 24 hours later, wrote another one and went, you know, that's enough time, no one's going to pick up on that. <laughs> Until I mentioned in the song. But it wasn't just on Christmas Day where Jesus had it rough. Now if the story's true, then Easter 2 was also fairly tough. 
and he was king of the Jews all their holidays too, so many to remember. And on top of that, he had two dads to buy for in September. <laughs> and what on earth do you get God for a gift on Father's Day? I'm guessing somehow he's not impressed with an ashtray made of clay. Hey, Dad, look what I made you. Mate, I watched you do it. I see everything, remember? Oh, I can never surprise you. Mate, did I ever tell you, I did the whole world in six days. Now I've just spent a fortnight wasting watching you fumble with some clay. I don't even smoke, mate, I don't even smoke. Don't forget your fine motor skills from your mum's side of the family. Jesus Christ. What was that, Dad? Oh, nothing, mate, just a figure of speech. Don't worry about it, don't worry, it's fine, it's fine. So spare a thought for Jesus Christ being born on Christmas Day. Because all these presents work and by, no matter what they say. Have a good night. Cheers. Give it up for Josh. Oh.